Hi, my name's Tom from the Wildlife Trusts, and today I'm going to talk to you about birdsong. Now, I'm obsessed with birds. I think they're just brilliant, and one of the best things about them is their voices. They produce these amazing sounds, and one of the reasons they can do this is instead of a voice box, they have something called a syrinx, and this actually lets them produce two different notes at the same time. That's like us singing two different songs at the exact same time. But why do birds sing? Well, there's two main reasons, really. It's either love or war. In the UK, most of the singing is done by male birds. There's only a few species where the females actually sing. In other countries, especially in the tropics, this isn't the case, and females sing a lot more. But here, the males are either singing a love song, because they want to sound as impressive as they can for female birds, to make sure they're the ones that are chosen to be that bird's mate, or they're singing a fight song, and they want to make themselves sound big and imposing to keep other male birds away and stop them from stealing their territory. And spring is the best time to hear bird song. It's coming up to the breeding season, so all the male birds want to try and attract a mate to partner up with and have eggs, and they want to keep the other males away. And at this time of year, we have something called the Dawn Chorus, which is when all the birds sing together at the same time, really early in the morning, and it creates this wonderful explosion of bird song. And you don't have to go outside to hear it. Obviously, if you can get outside, it's a lot better. But you can hear so many wonderful sounds just through the window. So I've not got a garden, and in the last week, I've heard about 10, 15 different birds singing including robins, blackbirds, great tits, and green finches, and loads more. So today I'm going to try and teach you to recognise some of the birds you most like to hear around your garden. Or maybe a little bit further away you can get out on a walk, get some exercise in the fresh air. So we're going to start with the robin. The robin is probably one of the most familiar birds and it's got one of the most familiar songs. It's this beautiful, sweet voice. It sings in a really kind of liquid way, bubbling up and down sometimes getting louder, sometimes getting quieter, with stops and starts and whistles, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Another bird with a similar song to a robin is the blackbird, one you've probably heard a lot. So blackbirds, they sound a bit more like a kind of grown up, slightly sadder version of a robin. They've still got this beautiful voice, but it's a lot deeper, a lot more mellow. And there's another close relative of the blackbird, you've probably heard a lot, even if you've not realised it, is the song thrush. Now song thrushes have a really bold, confident voice, and they'll often sit right at the top of a tree and really belt it out. And the best way to recognise a song thrush is because it usually repeats. So it'll sing a little verse, and it'll choose to repeat that verse two, maybe five times, and then it'll go into a new verse and repeat that. Another great bird you might hear through your window or in your garden is the wren. Now it's one of our smallest birds, but it's got one of our loudest, most explosive songs. So the wren comes out with this brilliant sudden burst of sound. It's a long series of rattles and trills. But if you are able to get out to a local wild space or park, you've got a much better chance at hearing more birdsong. And you might even hear some of our more exotic visitors like warblers. So warblers, most of them only come here for the summer to nest and they go south in the winter, somewhere warmer. Some of them get as far as Africa. And the three you're probably most likely to find in a park are the willow warbler, the chiff chaff and the black cap. So I'm going to tell you about those today. And willow warblers and chiff chaffs look very similar. So these cute little brown birds, very hard to tell apart but luckily they have very different songs. So the Chiff Chaff is quite an easy one. Always reminds me a bit of a Pokemon because it just shouts its own name over and over again going Chiff Chaff, Chiff Chaff, Chiff Chaff. Willow Warblers have a much more beautiful song. So the Willow Warbler's got this beautiful, sweet voice. Starts off really high pitched and gets lower pitched as it sings. Usually takes a few seconds to do this gorgeous little cascade of notes. And the last one I'm going to tell you about is the black cap, which is one of my favourites. So it's this beautiful little dusky grey bird. Males have got this glossy black cap. Females have a red cap. And the black cap song starts out quite quiet, really muffled and quite scratchy. 
almost like it's afraid to sing too loud. But as he sings, he gets more and more confident, he gets louder and he gets less scratchy until he's singing this beautiful, loud, fluting song. Take a listen. So that's all the birds I've got to show you today, but there's so many more out there to discover. So why don't you open the window or head out into your garden and see what birds you can hear. <laughs>